real quick video here on how to draw angles in what we call standard position. We need to have a sort of uniform idea of how to draw angles and standard position is just that. So what it is, is we're going to have our origin be our vertex and our, what we call the initial ray or initial side of our angle will lie on the x-axis the positive x-axis and if it's a positive angle it's going to open up this way counterclockwise so positive angle counterclockwise so in other words this is 30 degrees right here if it were negative 30 degrees then it would go clockwise so negative 30 degrees is down this way it opens up that way and same thing goes for radians too you know this is of course pi over 6 radians and if I wanted to open up down this way this would be right here negative pi over 4 radians alright if we want to sometimes we'll go around a couple times if you wanted to have an angle like go around 360 and then stop there all right, so that would be 360 degrees plus another 45 degrees, let's say. So that would be 405 degrees right here. It goes around more than once. And it stops here at what we call this terminal, the terminal side or the terminal ray. Terminal meaning it stops. So angles in standard position have their initial ray on the positive x-axis, their vertex on the origin, and their terminal ray, depending on whether it's positive or negative, the terminal ray will reside in quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4, or sometimes it could lie on any of the axes. So let's try a couple of these. Negative 140. All right, so it's a negative degree, so we're definitely going to go clockwise. So let's start with our vertex at the origin our initial ray on the positive x-axis, we're going to go down 140. Negative degrees go this way, clockwise. So this would be negative 90. This would be negative 180. Well, negative 140 is going to be somewhere in here. So negative 140 degrees is right there. And in the next video, we're going to talk about this reference angle idea, the fact that in this case, the reference angle is going to be 40 degrees it's the distance between the terminal side of an angle and the x-axis. Uh, but this, we'll save that for next video. But the, uh, the main idea here is that it's a third quadrant angle. It goes down, it's a negative angle, so it goes clockwise. And uh, just have a general idea that this is negative 90 degrees. This is negative 180 degrees. This would be negative 270 degrees. This would be 0 degrees and negative 360 degrees. And it would just keep going around and around like that. You know, negative 360 plus another 90, or I guess minus another 90 would be negative 450 degrees, would be right here, and so on and so forth. Number two is in radians. So let's graph this in radians. And I'll put my vertex at the origin initial side right there. This is a positive angle, so it's going counterclockwise. And it's over 12. My denominator is 12. So this is 0 radians. If I go all the way around, it will be 2 pi radians. But I want to convert that to something over 12. Well, that would be 24 pi over 12 radians, which makes this pi radians or 12 pi over 12 radians. It's good to have these these like denominators. 90 degrees is generally pi over 2, but if it's something over 12, it will be 6 pi over 12, because that's equal to pi over 2. So I'm just converting these fractions to all have the same denominator. And that's going to help me right there, the fact that 90 degrees is 6 pi over 12. This is 7 pi over 12, so it's going to be a little bit more than 6 pi over 12. So it'd be a second, a second quadrant angle. 
Number three, in standard position, vertex at the origin, the initial side on the x-axis. Negative, we're going this way, clockwise. So I'm going to go negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, negative 360. So I, I've gone one revolution, one rotation, whatever you want to call it, is 360 degrees. And I need to go 45 more degrees than that. 45 more degrees is going to be right in here. It's going to be half of 90. So that would be negative 405 degrees. Fourth quadrant. And the quadrant is going to be important as we move forward into our unit circle. All right, next up, we've got 7 pi over 4 positive. So this would be 4 pi over 4. This would be 2 pi over 4. This would be down here 6 pi over 4. And this would be 0 or 8 pi over 4 radians. So 7 pi over 4 is going to be in between 6 and 8. There we go. And that reference angle would be pi over 4. Again, the reference angle is going to be this right in here, theta prime. But we'll come back to that in the next video. So there you go, a really quick video on getting angles into standard position. It's important to have angles that are that we have some sort of convention to follow in order to get angles all in uh, the right, starting in the right spot. And having this convention too is really important. So uh, there you go. In the next video, we're going to talk about reference angles. So thanks for watching.